Officials at the Pacific Nuclear Research Facility have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed responsibility for the alleged... Stock. However, officials... Hello, anybody home? Hi, Stock. Come here, boy. What's going on? Oh, God. Preservation Society think it should be preserved exactly the way it is, as part of our history and heritage. There you go, lady. There's a quarter. Thank you. Don't forget to take a flyer. Where were we? Right about here. That's a power of love. Don't be silly. Listen, this is very important. I forgot my video camera. Can you stop by my place and pick it up on your way to the mall? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm away. Experiment. This is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Kind of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Come here. I'll show you how it works. This readout tells you where you're going, this one tells you where you are, this one tells you where you were. You input your destination time on this keypad. <laughs> Oh, my God. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! Who? Who? Who do you think? The idiots! If you bastards can do 90. Yeah. 
How are you doing? Yeah, you got my homework finished, McFly? Uh, well, actually, I figured since it wasn't due till Monday. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Hey, think, McFly. Think. I gotta have time to recopy. Do you realize what would happen if I handed my homework in your handwriting? Right? This has got to be a dream. machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Good luck, future boy! No, wait, Doc! Doc, the, the, the bruise! The bruise in your head! I know how that happened. You told me the whole story. You were standing on your toilet and you were hanging a clock and you fell and you hit your head on the sink. And that's when you came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. I do this. Flux capacitor. Somehow we've got to sneak this back to my laboratory. We've got to get you home! Thank you. 
McFly. That's George McFly? Excuse me. Screwing up future events? The space-time continuum? Well, I figured. What the hell? So how far ahead are you going? About 30 years. It's a nice round number. Look me up when you get there, all right? This will be about 47. I will. Take care. Me too. All right. Bye-bye, Annie. Oh, I am. Watch that re-entry. It, it's a little bumpy. You bet. How about a ride, mister? Jennifer. Oh, you a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Come back with me. No, 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 Doc. I just got here, okay? Jennifer's here. We're gonna take the new truck for a spin. Well, bring her along. This concerns her, too. Wait a minute, Doc. Well, what are you talking about? What happens to us in the future? Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. 